Got a bit of a problem here, guys. Uh, I lost the keys to this door. But, all is not lost. There is a solution to this. I could just call the local bloke up, who the local locksmith, and get him to cut me some new keys. Probably cost me over 100 quid, at least. Or there's a more destructive but much simpler solution. So we're going to tackle that one instead. We're going to take these screws out to begin we've got to remove the face plate so we can get to this lock here so this was the outside part notice it doesn't have any screws on the outside otherwise the thieves would be able to break in so you can only remove this from the inside and then that spindle goes into there like that and that's how these things look from the inside and then you can lock it with that and do a final deadbolt lock with the with the key so what we've got to do now is break this there's a very thin piece of metal at the bottom which is a weak point so what I'm going to do is get our, our water pump pliers and just, just sort of wiggle it until we sort of break it. I think I've done it. Okay. Okay. So... That's the one side of it. Let's grab the other side from outside. All right, so you see where it cracked? It's, it's just very weak there. So you just basically, you can do it inside or outside, you just snap it down and it breaks like that. So all we gotta do is buy a new one of these, they're fairly cheap, and then pop that back in. But the most important thing is you measure what this distance is overall here. So in my case is 85 mil, and then this hole will be a different distance from both ends, depending on which one you buy. So make sure you check that. In my case, it's 40 mil that way, from there to the center point of that, and 45 this way. So when I buy it from the shop, it will say 85 millimeters, 40 slash 45, but there'll be other ones that'll be 50 slash 35 or, or so on. So make sure you get the right one, otherwise it won't fit. Now the lock is out, we need to get the door open. It's going to be kind of hard to show you, but because mainly because this door is so thick, on other doors it's it's a lot easier to see and, and do, but essentially where I'm putting the end of this Allen key, in there is, is a little latch and that needs to be flicked up. And this is the cam that was inside the lock, so that would have sat like that and as you turned the key it moves that latch imagine that's the latch it moves it up or down so what we need to do is mimic the the mechanism in the lock so I need to get my allen key in there or some something similar that you can get in there and I can feel the latch and you'll push it up until you get it to there's no point in me putting the camera closer you won't be able to see it because the door's so thick <sighs> okay let's try that see if that's done it and then what you can do is just get a screwdriver into the spindle hole That wasn't able to move before, now that can move. Okay, there we go, bingo. Next step is to install our new Euro cylinder lock. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just to remove that screw that was holding that in there. And now 
We're going to get our, our lock, put the key in, and rotate the cam so that it's in line with the barrel. See that? Because originally when it comes out of the packet, it's like, it's like that. So you won't get it through the hole in the door. And the other thing to note is that, as I said before, one of the sides of this is longer than the other. And we want the short side outside because we don't want too much protruding that thieves could get the grips on it and snap it just like I did. So just flip it around the other way. I'm going to pop that in. Get our screw back. Yeah. I'm going to put the inside plate on and what we need to do is make sure that that, that lever is pointing down like that because when we close the door it will lock up like that but because it's open at the moment we want it down and just make sure it's in the square parallel position because it could be parallel also like that you see but then it won't lock, it won't, won't be able to return, so you keep that down like that. Put your spindle in, and then put it through the hole, like so. Right in there. And then same on the other side, have the lever pointing in the same direction, down like that. And then it will easily fit on there, like so. And then you just put the two screws back in. That is everything put back in place and we can now test it. So that is it done. Booyakasha! Anyway guys, hope that was helpful for you and we'll see you in the next one.